Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another grocery haul for you. We have November's grocery haul. And I'm going back to all four stores that I normally like to go to, Aldi, Sam's Club, Walmart, and Trader Joe's. So I get different things at different ones, mostly depending on the price or once in a while the convenience. First of all, I did Aldi. Today was a day off for us. And so I had my husband's help, not really in the space to walk through these stores on my own to get two grocery loads of <laughs> groceries. In fact, I'm not even in the space to do it with my kids. I needed my husband. So he came along with me and my kids, we they helped me unload the car and arrange everything and I'm gonna show you what we got. We like to spend $1,300 a month or less on groceries for the whole month. I plan the whole month, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And we tend to do about, <laughs> well, kind of about 30 different dinners a month but our lunch, breakfast, and snacks, we rotate. So every Monday, the kids have the same lunch. Every Tuesday, they have the same lunch. So they get seven, six or seven different lunches a week, but we're repeating them. It just helps a lot when I'm planning. Um, some people have asked me, don't your kids get so sick of that? I don't know, we ate the same things almost every day when I was a kid, so I think they have a lot of variety. It just helps us plan and keep things fresh, and as meals are getting boring or seasons are changing, we switch our meals out, but it's nice to just have a good plan for the month, and then we move things around too as we feel like it throughout the month, but at least we have all the groceries for the month. So we bought a whole cow recently, so we won't be buying any beef. I have a lot of disclaimers here, but we also have our freezer going bad, so I took really good in inventory of our freezer. We're kind of switching one out right now and I just wanted to empty it out as much as possible. So I like my freezers to build up. Like if we don't use everything, I'll let it just kind of build up and then a couple times, once or twice a year, I do like a freezer pant pantry challenge where I spend very little money that month in the grocery store and we just eat out of our pantry and freezers. But we kind of had to do that this month a little and just take a very good stock of what we already had because we're trying to get that freezer emptied out to replace it. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of bananas as you can see I've already had several children take bananas and here's some onions this is all the cream cheese we eat in a month when I make recipes now if they're normal recipes I usually have to triple them if they're pretty big I'm doubling them and so there's a couple of things I think two things I'm making that call for cream cheese so I just wanted to have plenty and then um, once a week we eat bagels on Sundays for breakfast before church is just quick and easy and the kids always go through a block of cheese for that we got some chocolate chips to stock up the cupboard it is baking season right and we got some almond extract i love everything with almond extract got a couple things of dark chocolate 85 percent that's a good snack for me keeps me out of the bad stuff i think i got the only three packets they had we got six milks usually we go through about eight in two weeks we will go back for milk and fresh fruits and vegetables halfway through the month and I had a couple left over from the last time we shopped so I only had to pick up six which is their limit at Aldi anyway so that worked out. We got some Greek yogurt. We use this a lot to make like dressings and different recipes and things like that and to use for our homemade yogurt that we make a couple times a week. We use it as a starter. I think I dropped this. <laughs> the lid is broken. We got a few applesauce. We already had a few in the cupboard. We do that for breakfast once a week and then I got a couple olive oil. I've been out of this for a while because I haven't been to Aldi for a while. I sure like theirs there. I like the bottles. I like how cheap it is. We got a few oatmeal. Had some left over so didn't have to get too many. I thought I got three bags of brown rice. So one is missing. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I really like their brown rice. The Basmati brown rice at Aldi. Okay, for taco night, the kids have been liking it when I get them some hard shell tacos. So that's just one night this month. And then I got a few bags, or a couple bags of kale. I really like this. I eat it with bacon bits and tomatoes. I kind of cook it up in a frying pan and top it with goat cheese for breakfast. And then we have a few packets of cilantro. When Solo makes Kenyan food, which he does once or twice a week, he loves to use a lot of this. And some green onions. We haven't had those around for a while. That's also good with my kale. And it's good on salads. We got a few cans of salmon made some salmon cakes last month and they were really good the kids devoured them so i wanted to do that one again hopefully i'll have some kids make it for me this time my kids do like to cook when their friends aren't out <laughs> to play with. but they're gonna have to step it up a little bit and cook a little more right now 
uh, just because I am not doing as much of it. Just for this short season while I am very pregnant and, uh, and while I have a new baby. So these we're, we're calling emergency mac and cheese. I got five boxes of it, which would be a, one meal for my kids. So if I add something else like veggies or something. If Solo and I go out once or for some reason it's only the kids eating, this is a good thing to pull out. I used to always keep emergency frozen pizza in our, in our freezer. And um, yeah, I just didn't want to put anything more in the freezer right now. And I felt like we might need an emergency meal. So that's what these are. Got a couple pie crusts. We sure do like making quiche lately. So I'll make a couple quiche for the kids and a couple for Solo and I without pie crust. Um, but then I got a couple extra just because November pie season, <laughs> my kids love to bake. So I just wanted to have those around for them. We're not good at making pie crust yet. Maybe we'll get good at it, but those are really cheap and really easy. So right now it's a good solution. I just got this whole case of these diced tomatoes with green chilies in them. I'm trying to stock up my cupboards a little bit. So we ran out of some tomatoes last month, so I didn't want that to happen again. So these are all crushed tomatoes. Those are diced tomatoes, like eight of them. We got tomato sauce. I think eight of them and five tomato pastes. Tomatoes are basically, besides the salmon, basically the only thing we buy in canned form regularly. We cook dried beans here a lot and we do a lot of frozen vegetables, so we don't do a lot of other things canned, but we, sh we do do a lot of tomatoes. And then three big 10 pound bags of potatoes. I think these will last the month. We do baked potatoes for lunch once a week and then the kids have them for sides. I was happy to get back to Aldi this month because of their bread prices. That's 20 loaves of bread. That's what the kids will eat this month. Four loaves of sprouted grain bread. I probably put these straight into the freezer. We have a cupboard that we bought in our, for our school room that's just around the corner from our kitchen. I saved a shelf in there for bread so I'll put the bread in there. And then as we have room in our fridge and freezer, as we're eating out of it, we'll move the bread to the fridge or freezer just to keep it good. Bread freezes so well. So the sprouted grain bread is really, I'm really the only one eating that right now. I love all these. It's cheaper and it's good. And then these are the bagels for the month. For the kids, they eat about two bags in one morning. And like I said, that's once a week. So they had a special flavor this month of pumpkin spice. I know I'm gonna get a whole bunch of you telling me that I am out of breath. I'm out of breath. That's how I am my whole pregnancy. <laughs> Some people can tell from the very beginning when I'm pregnant. I'm just out of breath. It will go away <laughs> when I deliver this child in a few weeks. The danger of Aldi is their extras aisle, right? Well, this is a good reason to shop once a month because you're not in stores too often to get impulse buys. But we did find a few fun things. Solo and I haven't been to Aldi alone for a long time. It's getting cold here and it makes you want all the candles. This thing with an LED light with batteries included was $3.99, it was on clearance, so I couldn't pass that up. And then this candle smells amazing. It is pear scented. And then Solo found these and we've been wanting some lights under our cupboard. We tried a couple packs of those. Hopefully we'll open one and try one. And if it works, um, we'll use them both. If not, we'll take them back. <laughs> he also found these warm socks for the boys, really warm. He said he wanted them in his own size. <laughs> so those are our fun little finds at Aldi today. I won't include those in the total amount, but I'll write the total amount of our Aldi bill right here. All right, I just installed the lights. I'm gonna show you quick. Ooh, pretty fancy. You can kind of see them because they're fat, but I don't mind. I like light. And they have a remote. But they're also stickers, so I can pull them off anytime I want. And they turn green, blue, or red as well. <laughs> Next up is my Walmart order. Let me show you what I got there. We use the pickup service, which I love. I got this big bag of salmon again. We did that last month and it worked really great. A lot of times we just put that on a baking tray with frozen vegetables, stick it in the oven. It cooks all together and it's really, really easy. I picked up some popcorn because we've been eating this again on sunny nights. I watched a friend of mine do um, some popcorn with throwing some chocolate chips in there. And we did it once this last month and it was good. The kids devoured it, they loved it. So if there's anything fun you guys like to throw into popcorn, this is often our Sunday night dinner. We just snack on this and fruit and I love one easy dinner every week. We have our big meal at lunch on Sunday, so we just snack on this at night. But if you have any great ideas for what you could throw into popcorn, let me know. For lunch once a week, we've been doing two boxes of this for the kids 
with two jars of pizza sauce. This pizza sauce from Walmart is what we use for our spaghetti sauce. There's no sugar added. And the kids have been loving it. It's so easy. Whole wheat pasta with this low sugar sauce. So it's healthy too. And they'll either throw some shredded mozzarella cheese on it or Parmesan. Then we also got some whole wheat spaghetti noodles. Once this month, we'll do chicken Alfredo again. It was a really simple, easy meal for us. And then once this month, we'll probably do spaghetti sauce with like ground meat for dinner. We are about a box and a half of noodles for, um, for our family. And Solo and I don't usually eat noodles, so that is just our kids. So a box and a half is what it takes to feed our nine children now. I told you canned tomatoes is about the only cans we buy, but I was wrong. We also buy coconut milk. And so I got four more. I think I have about four in the cupboard, but I do like to have that around. We got some lemon juice, some lime juice to put in my pantry because I have one of each of these in the fridge open right now. And same with horseradish. We have, when we bought our whole cow, we got a lot of roast. So we've been doing roast on Sundays a lot and this stuff is awesome. We also have the real deal horseradish that's just like, just the root. These I got at Walmart in the pickup hall. It's nice that you can get stuff like this. Um, it's not food and it's not coming out of my food budget, but it's just a candle that's gonna go in that pillar. It's a pillar candle. She's doing science. We also picked up some chopped spinach frozen. We have a lot of kale in the freezer already and we cook um, with frozen greens. I would say at least twice a month. Then this ice cream is just for the kids. We have it around for a night that we wanna use that. And then this ice cream is for Solo and I. Got two birthday cake ones cause they didn't have the kind I keep waiting for which is red velvet. So I had ordered two of each of my favorites, but I got four of the birthday cake. <laughs> These are a high protein, low sugar, lower carb ice cream. And it's great just to have a little bit when you need to stay on your diet plan or however you're eating good and healthy and you don't wanna eat something chunky. And then these are our eggs for the month. We just get three of these 60 packs. We use eggs, of course we use eggs for breakfast. We do eggs for dinner at least once a month, like um, in a quiche form. And then we also use hard boiled eggs. I make them in the pressure cooker, so easy. They peel so great and take no time at all. And we do that once a week for the kids for snacks and Solo and I eat those too for snacks. So they're a good healthy snack. Next up is Sam's Club. We also picked this order up and um, they had one thing out of stock. It was peanuts. So I'll show you what I'm gonna use those for. I'll just get those at Trader Joe's. But it seemed kind of like a smaller order for us than normal, so that's kind of nice. Let me show you what we got there. We got a big thing of toilet paper. Always get the big thing of toilet paper. We needed some diapers and wipes. I tried those. I don't like the scented stuff, so these are a little better, natural, whatever. We'll try them out. And pull-ups because we have some kids that need that at nighttime. And then here's all our food. We always get... Lately we get five things of tortillas. The kids eat those during the week for, for lunches. And then tortilla chips we got just because we don't always get that but it's nice to have them around sometimes. We do often get these bacon crumbles. The other day Solo had to run into Sam's Club for something and so he grabbed some bacon to cook that morning and it smelled up our house for so long and <laughs> The kids ate a huge package of it and we realized we like just doing these bacon crumbles added to stuff a lot better than we like buying the big thing of bacon. So we're back to that. Uh, last time I didn't have to buy any because I had enough leftover, so we'll see. This might last longer than just one month. We got a few more things of bananas. That Aldi haul was a couple days ago when we've already finished almost that whole batch of bananas, so these won't last long either. Just one maple syrup and one thing of honey this time because we had a little left over. Coconut oil, that's what we mostly cook with because it can withstand heat really well and it's healthier than vegetable oil. Yeah, this is mayonnaise, we do eat a lot of mayonnaise and some jelly. We have been using a lot of this stuff because we have more steaks in our lives than normal. And Solo even seasons the beef he uses in Kenyan food a lot of times with this. Got a couple cottage cheese, we use that in the mornings, and one thing is sour cream. Usually we get two of these, but I had enough left over. Um, somebody also gave us, they had a bunch of extra food from an event, and they gave us a bunch of food. So we had a lot of shredded cheese and sour cream given to us in that batch, and a lot more apples, plus the apples we already picked at the apple farm. So. There were a few things we didn't have to buy just because we were given that stuff, which is awesome. We got two things of heavy whipping cream. Solo's been putting some of that in his coffee 
And also, um, I'm hoping to get back to making brownie in a mugs here and there, and this stuff is really good on top of that. We got three things of cheese. I, I have one left in my fridge, so that's for the kids' lunches and stuff mostly. And I thought I bought two of these packets, and I actually bought three of them for, for ham for lunch meat, but that's no problem because I store them in the freezer and I just pull them out when one of them's getting low. And so they never go bad. One 10 pound bag of frozen chicken breasts. This I think is a six pound bag of chicken thighs. That's mostly our chicken for the month uh, with this, which is two frying chickens. I'll cook these at once either in the pressure cookers or in my crock pots. And I like to have these here and there, especially this time of year because when I cook them, I will make bone broth out of the bones left over. And that keeps me from having to buy chicken broth. So I figure it kind of kills two birds with one stone. And I can get these better for you chickens too. So that'll be one meal for us and it will provide leftovers, chicken for me to put on my salads or for, the, for us to throw into something else. But like I said, I'll also use them for the bone broth. So we get a few things out of those two chickens. We got some of these little oranges. My kids just love these and devour them. They won't probably last the whole two weeks. And then brown sugar, I've just been getting it at Sam's Club when the kids bake, they use that. And it's nice to have the big bag all at once. <laughs> I was out of baking soda. Oh, this thing is so heavy, I can't even tell you. And so I just thought, well, let me get it there. And I had no idea it was such a huge bag. This is gonna last us forever. Uh, we're switching out our popsicle snack for hot chocolate. The kids are excited about that because our weather's colder now. And then we got these Baby Bell cheeses. Solo and I mostly keep these for ourselves. They're a nice little snack. I just stocking up on frozen vegetables. I had plenty of broccoli. I have one extra bag of this in the freezer, one, one extra bag of this, and these are mostly the vegetables we eat with the broccoli uh, in a month. Two bags of tilapia. We like to do fish once a week around here, if we can. And then last time we tried out this sauce, it was really good. A lot of you told us that you really love it too. And I make chicken alfredo sometimes in our crock pot and stuff, but this was such an easy meal. In fact, Solo usually never cooks anything that's not Kenyan, but I got him to cook <laughs> chicken alfredo. He just fried up some green beans and mushrooms. Ooh, I forgot to buy mushrooms, but, and then some chicken and poured the sauce on top of it on noodles and it worked great. Three jars was not quite enough though, so I got two packs. I think we'll probably use four jars and then next time maybe buy one pack, you know, that leftover. One thing I've been wanting to do is get rid of our granola bars. I just don't want quite as much processed food, but I wanted something simple. And the granola bars actually have not been filling them up because I only bought enough for them to have one each. They eat fruit for snack too, so they get full. It's not like they're going hungry, but I wanted something a little more substantial, um, but that was not processed. I don't feel like I have time right now to start making granola bars. It's not something I'm interested in at this point. So I decided maybe we should try making some trail mix. We'll see how that goes over. So we eat a lot of raisins anyway. I can't stand raisins, like I cannot stand them, but my kids really like them in oatmeal. Is there anything else you eat raisins in? With pretzel. They eat them with pretzels on Fridays for snacks, so there's our pretzels. But for the trail mix, I got the almonds and pistachios already shelled, and we're going to get the peanuts, like I said, at Trader Joe's. I wanted to get some other dried fruit besides raisins to go in the trail mix, and every single thing, every option they had, had sugar added to it. I think these are the only ones that did not. So we're trying the apricots. We'll make up some trail mix each time on our Thursday snack and see how that goes over. It is definitely healthier and it should be a little more filling for them, adding peanuts to it too. Not everybody likes everything in there, but I think they all like enough of it that they would trade around what they <laughs> had that they didn't want. <laughs> and then I picked these up just for a snack for Solo and I to try out. I've been wanting to try them for a long time. They would actually be really good in the trail mix too, but they would go really fast. So that's just something new we're going to try this month. Maybe when I'm at Trader Joe's, I may find some dried fruit. My kids really love dried fruit, but I'm not interested in adding something that has added sugar in it. 
Uh, that's why I don't get craisins either. Do, do raisins have added sugar? Probably. No, they don't. So this kind of snack is definitely not as cheap as just buying some granola bars, enough for them to have it once a week. But I'm hoping that with some of these big bags, of course Solo and I will eat some of these nuts too, but with some of these big bags, they will last more than a month. And I hope to get a lot of peanuts to make it go farther because those are a cheaper nut. I don't know, well, I'll, I'll keep you informed on how that one goes. <laughs> but I am always looking for healthy options that are easy. Um, and sometimes it is not quite as affordable as the non-healthy items. That's just reality. Got some baby carrots, snap peas. We eat those a lot with our lunches, Brussels sprouts. We love to bake those. I think about 400 for 20 minutes. I cover them in coconut oil, salt and pepper, and they are excellent roasted. Some tomatoes, mostly I eat these on salads or with my kale in the morning. And then we got a couple string cheese, which are just extra snacks. The kids, I let them have one string cheese a day. We try to keep it to that so that these last for a month. Goat cheese, I love this when I eat kale in the morning. I love this on top of it. It makes it so much better. I also like it on salads. That is it, not a big deal this time. I have one more store to do and I'll show you that in just a second. I still gotta go there. Check out this little snack jar I made for Solo to take to work. It has some almonds, pistachios, and about five of those Parmesan chips, crisps, whatever. So it's a nice low carb snack and really filling. I find that these Parmesan chips, like there's not that many in the bag, but you only want a few of them at a time, otherwise they are too much. That's just my opinion, <laughs> but they are a great addition in there. And I'll make a few of these for him to just grab and go. I had to run back into Sam's Club and I had totally forgotten these two items that I really wanted. So picked up some sliced mushrooms. These go great with the chicken Alfredo when we're making that up and salsa. We just use this a lot to cook, especially with taco soups now and all kinds of things. I added the price of these into the whole Costco bill. I mean, Sam's Club. <laughs> And finally, this is my Trader Joe's haul. A couple bags of peanuts, since I couldn't find them at Sam's Club. And they're a pretty good price there. Then I got six of these peanut butter. We've already opened one of them. Three of the their chocolate bars, dark chocolate. I love those. And then I got three of these milk chocolate that um, don't have sugar in them. I think they're stevia. We really liked these last time. Solo loved them. So I got three of these. I think he took one with him to work already. And those are for him. And then I got, full disclosure, I bought two of these. They are not low sugar, low carb, but they're not too bad for you. They're better than a Reese's. I ate one on the way home, and this one's going in my hospital bag. They're my new favorite. And then I did find some berries. These are dried fruit. These are, I think these three are all freeze dried. So I'm gonna try those in my trail mix. They were three something each. So I'm gonna show you here real quick what our trail mix looks like, especially these freeze dried ones. If I mix them up ahead of time, they wouldn't make the trail mix soggy. And I just wanted to try different ones. So pineapple, mango, blueberries, strawberries, and we'll see what we like. Altogether, I spent 244 at Aldi. That's without the food, the non-food items. So just on food. And 623 at Sam's Club. 115 at Walmart and $45 at Trader Joe's. So altogether it was $1,027, I think. And that includes the salsa and mushrooms I went back for. So I did really good this month. I did not include Thanksgiving. I've been shopping a little bit earlier in the month just because I like to get these grocery hauls up at the first of the month for you guys to watch, but just for food inspiration that you want for that month. But also because I am 30, Six thirty-seven. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am thirty-seven weeks pregnant. Please ignore any stains you see on my shirt. I can't see them, but I'm sure they're there. Pregnancy isn't always cute, and my parents are going to be around for Thanksgiving. Um, American Thanksgiving this year is what November. Help me out, guys. Um, twenty-eighth. Twenty-eighth, right at the end of the month. So my dad's going to be cooking a lot of the food. The kids will cook some of their favorites. We will shop for that later. I'm not, I wasn't even worried about that right now because I don't know what he wants to cook. <laughs> and I gotta get through having a baby before that too. So that'll, probably in our mid-month haul, we may pick up some of that stuff or just do an extra Thanksgiving haul when 
he's in town. So I have some good money left for that because remember our budget is $1,300. I spent just over a thousand for this month of groceries. And that includes the trail mix, the homemade trail mix, which is a lot more expensive than just buying granola bars for sure. This is the batch I mixed up for our snack today. It has some of the dried pineapple and the freeze dried strawberries plus all our nuts and raisins. And I think I'll just keep the leftovers in these little jars. They'll probably use these little small mason jars for a serving or more if they want to come back for more. And then whatever we have left over, we'll store in these. And then I think all of these ingredients that I have for the trail mix, I will keep in a little box in my pantry together. So the next month I can easily check and see what I have left over and what I need to restock. Technically it shouldn't be that expensive every month because some of this stuff will carry over for sure. So anyway, that's what we're doing this month in November for groceries. It sure is nice to have all our food here in the house for the month. Besides the fruits and vegetables and milk, we'll go back for the middle of the month. So thank you guys for watching today. I hope this inspired you in some way. Shopping once a month has saved us lots of money just staying out of the store obviously i like impulse buys sometimes <laughs> and it's good to just get it all done and then just stay out of the stores as much as we can the rest of the month also i don't like grocery shopping that much so <laughs> if you ever decide to try it even shopping just twice a month and planning for two weeks at a time really goes a long way in saving money i've had so many of you write me that you have saved a lot of money doing this too Tori, try one of those strawberries in there They're, they are good. They have no added sugar. Can you believe it? They're sweet. They're sweet, aren't they?